Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make use of tabs and a slide box in your Ionic framework, Android and iOS mobile application. Uh, if you're unfamiliar with what, with what a slide box is, that's um, a carousel uh, slider, so it's one of those things where you usually have the three or however many little um, radio buttons at the bottom and you can page between images or information. And then tabs are just kind of like um, buttons that reside at the footer of your application. So let's go ahead and start by creating a brand new Ionic Framework project. Now I'm going to go ahead and navigate into this project directory and I'm going to add the Android platform. Now because I'm using uh, Ubuntu Linux I won't be adding the Mac iOS platform because that can only be added when, when you're running uh, Mac OS X. So for, for this tutorial I'm just going to be showing you how to use Android. But this tutorial is compatible with iOS. So with our project created, uh, let's go ahead and open it up. And we are going to open up our index.html file found in the www folder. Now there, there isn't a whole lot of coding in this project. This project is primarily uh, HTML, not a whole lot of JavaScript. So actually what we want to do is we want to add some styles. So open up your styles.css and we're going to add the following. Alright, so what I'm doing here is I am going to make each one of our uh, slider areas take up the full height of the, of the app and it's going to align all text center. The scroll is going to be 100% and then I'm going to be creating a few boxes of different colors inside of the, the box slider. So let's go back into our index.html we're going to add our slider. So inside of your content, let's go ahead and add the following. Alright, let's go ahead and save that and see what happens. It won't do much at the moment because we don't have a whole lot there. As you can see, it only shows the color red. Probably because I uh, forgot to do some stuff here. So in our color red, let's go ahead and also change the width and the height. Go ahead and refresh the page, and you can see that I have one uh, red slider item. 
So let's go ahead and add another slider item. We're going to call this one um, yellow, of course, because that's the other color I chose. So we now have two slides in our slide box. Let's go ahead and refresh it. You can see that another element came up there and if I swipe, we can swipe back and forth. Pretty cool. But see, when we click on these, nothing happens because we have to, this is what we actually have to program. We have to program what the clicks do. So if we go into our app.js file, we can start adding a controller. So before we do that, let's go ahead and do this. We're going to call our module example. And inside of our controller, we want to add a method that will handle our sliding. So it's going to slide to whatever index that we uh, click on and it's going to do a 500 millisecond transition. So with that done, let's go ahead and go back into our index.html. We're going to add a, a controller and we're going to add uh, the function that we just added. And we're going to add up here in the ion slide box pager click and that's going to be nav slide index so with that saved let's go back to our browser and refresh and it still doesn't it doesn't work so let's figure out if there's an error And of course, there's an error. Ionic slide box delegate is undefined. It's undefined because we didn't add it to one of our um, directives. So let's go ahead and simply add it. And with that added, I'm going to refresh. The error is gone. And I'm going to click, and clicking it does change the slider. Uh, very cool, right? So this leads us to the second portion of uh, this tutorial. We want to include tabs in case we want to have multiple tabs. So let's go back into our index.html. We're going to start kind of fresh here. We're going to add our tabs and then we're going to add content into them. So let's start by doing this. And I'm going, I'm adding the icons which will represent when it's selected and unselected. Alright, in this tab, each tab that we create is going to have ion content. So luckily for us, we already did that. Let's go ahead and copy it or cut it and we're going to paste it into our tab. 
to make things easy, we're going to actually put the NG controller um, up a level, and that's going to be inside of our. Uh, let's go ahead and put that in the ion pane. It's just somewhere out of the way. So let's go ahead and test and see what we've got so far. So we've got one tab, it's selected, it has a, what looks to be like a, a mailbox. And inside that one tab we have our um, slide box. So let's go ahead and add a second tab. For simplicity I'm just going to copy what we did. We taste it, we're going to change a few things. Call that tab 2. Let's go ahead and make this icon the clock. Call this one clock outline. And let's let's flip them. Remember this is going to just be very simple. You can go into much further detail on your own. All right. So let's save it and run it. You can see another tab has shown up. But in this tab, the first slider image is yellow because that's what we made it. And the second slider image is red. Uh, you don't even have to put slider images in there. You can do whatever you want. You could put uh, a card in there and it'll look pretty good. Let's go ahead and let's make the second tab uh, a card. All right, with that saved, let's go ahead and go back into our, our view here. Still our two tabs, one's a slide box. This one's actually a card. Um, so you have a lot of options. You could add as many, as many tabs as you want. Usually the standard is three. Um, to finish this tutorial off, let's go ahead and add a little bit more features to this slide box. Um, let's go back into our code. We're going we're gonna to actually tell it to autoplay and we want it to repeat. So going up to your ion slide box we're going to add a few more. Auto play equals true and does continue equals true. So this means it's going to start looping through our slides when we, when we load the application and this one means that once we hit the last slide it's going to repeat to the, to the beginning again. So let's go ahead and try that out. And as you can see, it changed slides on its own. So it's great that it runs in the browser, but how about on the device? That's the, the ultimate goal here. So we're going to go ahead and do Ionic Build Android. Now that it's built, let's go ahead and install it. Oops. Alright, it installed and let's run it. For some reason it added four <laughs> of the slides. So we'll figure that out in a second. Uh, as you can see our card is there. Oh, maybe it was just a fluke. So let, let me uh, 
Let me exit out and try to load it again. Yeah, I don't know what happened, why it had four to begin with. It could be a bug in the Ionic framework because it still is beta, but it, it appears to be good now. It looks, it looks pretty good on the device, on the simulator. So, you can do a lot of stuff with the cards. Um, you could even go uh, above and beyond and make each one of these tabs um, inside a UI route rather than including everything inside of your index.html. But for simplicity, um, I decided to put everything in the index.html. If you like this video and are interested in seeing what else I have to offer, please subscribe to my channel as well as my written web blog. Thank you.